This week, we read one of my favorite stories in the Torah. And it is one of my favorites because it has what I consider to be the trifecta when it comes to women being featured in the Torah. First, it is not just a woman, but it is many women together. Second, these women aren't just an anonymous group of women, but these are five amazing women who are each given a name. And third, these women come together and they work together to make a difference not only in their lives, but in the lives of other women and the Israelite community. The women I'm speaking about are known collectively as the daughters of Zalafachad. Zalafachad was a man who had five daughters, Mala, Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirza. And when he died, he had these five daughters, but no sons. And inheritance law at this time stated that if a man died without any sons, his land went to the next closest living male relative. And his daughters decided this was incredibly unfair. Why shouldn't they as daughters inherit his land? And why should his land be lost to his immediate family just because he had no sons? So they got together and they brought their case to Moses and they pleaded it before Moses, who listened to them and thought what they were arguing was incredibly fair, so fair that Moses brought it to God. And God too thought their argument was fair, so fair that God changed the inheritance laws. Now there are so many lessons that we can learn from the daughters of Zalafacha. But the one I want to talk about today is the lesson we learn about tikkun olam. Rabbi Tarfon in the Talmud teaches, do not be daunted by the enormity of the world's grief. Do justly now, love mercy now, walk humbly now. You are not obligated to complete the work, but neither are you free to abandon it. Did Zalafachad's daughters make life better for women forever? Did they even make all of life better for women in their time? No. In fact, we will read in just a week or so that the law they helped change was eventually overturned. But what they did do was their peace. They made life better for themselves and for other women in their time in the way they could. They did their part. We look around our world today and there is so much grief. There is so much that is broken that it can often be daunting. But when we remember that our obligation is not to complete the task, but just to do our part, then we remember that we can help make a difference. We can help bring about change. And when we work together, that change can be amazing. This year in our tent, our learning theme is Tikkun Olam, and we will be studying it from the viewpoint of social action, social justice, and being Shomrei Hadama, guardians of our earth. All the details of how we plan to run our program are in the July Bulletin and registration will be open July 15th. I really hope you join us as we learn more about Tikkun Olam and how individually and together we can make a difference. An early Shabbat Shalom to you all.